in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to lasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your only begotten Son, have made us the new creation. Look kindly, we pray, on the handiwork of your mercy, and at your Son's coming, cleanse us from every stain of the old way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. accepts no correction. In the Lord, she has not trusted. To her God, she has not drawn near. For then, I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they all may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. For then I will remove from your midst the proud braggarts, and you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. 
His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be creating with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the Lord. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he says, The Lord redeemed lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the Lord. Jesus said to the chief priest and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterward he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are in, entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you do not let me change your mind and believe you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Read our first reading. We heard this, she hears no voice, accepts no correction. Takes humility, humble meek heart, to accept correction. Our pride gets in the way. In our gospel passage, our Lord is pointing out that the prostitutes, those who were saying no to God, changed their mind, converted, repented. Whereas the Pharisees were saying yes to God, then said no to conversion, further conversion. 
to know Jesus. Spiritual pride. That I'm doing good enough, nothing needs to change in me. We're not perfected yet. Which we do all the areas in our life that need to change. Are resistant to that like Pharisees, or open to that change like the tax collectors and prostitutes. Were. See, our pride can especially get in the way when somebody we know very well, spouse, sibling, co worker, points out something that's, something that's a needs to change. And we can we we resist to that part because our pride. And part is because, who are you to tell me to change? Look at the faults in you. For our Lord is very clear so often that it's, we need a humble, meek heart. Because conversion is constant. We're not perfected yet. We're not now. We haven't gone through purgatory. We can use some time here on earth as purgatory. Just keep making those changes in our lives. So also be careful that if we see somebody who needs to correct something in their life, we approach them sin of sin. As the Lord said elsewhere, be careful about those and splitting your brother's eye with a big old plank in our own. So we go with humility and meekness, knowing that we're a fellow sinner. And then if they do change, don't take pride in that. Very well could be they're already planning on doing that. And we we'll some confirmation that they should change that in their life. Which means who prepared their heart? Holy Spirit. And so we may need the thought of impetus to get them to change, but how how would it take the Holy Spirit to work on them to get the heart to part of the woman change? We had a little small part in there. Holy Spirit had a big part in it. So careful spiritual pride. So we change this, woo -woo, I did it. Uh, we have a small role in that. God did most of the work. So be careful. Humility in all things. To be open to change. And then when we're asking people to make a change in their life. Meek and humble of heart. Is the holiness of life. Our Lord be born in a stable, give example to a meek and humble heart and life. Amen. Amen. We pray to the Lord. For those who are worn down by the difficulties they have encountered, may they know that the Lord is close to them. We pray to the Lord. For all of us that our preparation for Christmas may put God first in our lives, we pray to the Lord. For our parishioners, family members, and friends who are ill, and for those who have contracted the coronavirus, excuse me, let the Lord be their refuge and their hope. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions of Michael Bomer, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. For our friends, family members, and parishioners who have died, and for all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus, 
that may be brought to fullness of eternal life and peace. We pray to the Lord. Please add your own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, remove pride and selfishness from our hearts. Hear our prayers and answer them according to you will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Christ. The Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not be found to us. To fight and not to be the rule. To toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward. Stay by knowing that I am in your will. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through you to receive the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through you to receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice be your success for God the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, our mighty tone God through Christ our Lord. For you assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise which now we dare to hope. So with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things that make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rise of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice will be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, grace you make holy these gifts we have brought to your consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night Jesus betrayed, he himself took bread and gave me thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave me thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new angel of covenant which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection ascension to heaven, and as it forth was second coming, we offer thanksgiving his holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognize the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain inheritance with your love. Especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed Apostles and Lord's martyrs, the Saint Germain with all the saints, on whose constant intercession and presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray on advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and share to your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the system bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion and merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you in their passing through this life, give kind and eminence to your kingdom. They are able to enjoy for the full super glory through Christ our Lord, to whom restore the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach the judge wisely things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. May we call. I forgot a couple weeks ago to do our holy hour for vocations. We do that today. So after Mass, it will be a holy hour for vocations. Prayer St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you whom we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, pass into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seek in the room of souls. Amen. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.